today I will do a little video that I hope will help British and others to liberate themselves from rape, from mass slaughter, and I'm going to use the word domestic, domestic mass slaughter. Russians managed to liberate themselves from with termination of so-called Romanovs. And things in Russia are not going well. The thing is that uh, entire democracy suffers more and more. I'm not going to say more just than at any time because of the number of the population that increased so much. Uh, but I'm going to say that maybe even more than in any time. The thing is that humanity is driven into self-extension procedure without understanding basically even the basics about what goes on. And in my case, look at that, 57 days straight, $29.50. I wanted to see basically how this stuff works. And it did help me to recall a police investigator who stated, he demonstrated me like I'm demonstrating you right now. And uh, then what he would refer to this is he would say, we're going to go on a trip. And once we return, he only had remaining, he demonstrated me in our kitchen, inside of our house. Don't worry about it. They had this beautiful internet Wi-Fi extenders. They did not use our internet. They also used our internet, but they had different computers and so on. And I learned from the cable that was destroyed. They were using our internet to a certain extent uh, for certain issues, to camouflage, to mask. Uh, I'm going to say and abductions and basically my presence inside of the home. So they, what they would do is they would, they would sit with me in front of the computer and they would browse the stuff I was using on the computer so the internet service provider would be demonstrating my presence at home. And at the same time, they were also using Wi-Fi extenders to present other issues involved in MKUltra, such as AliExpress, uh, eBay, Alibaba, and so on, demonstrating me products, even products that I never ever browsed in my life and one of those products that i never browsed in my life for instance i'm going to dedicate this video to understanding that's what i really will commit myself to humanity understand a, a source of problems basically the way it works and these are the things that they they push me down the throat this type so this types of watches for this type of for the even for the merchandise or for the websites like aliexpress that i would never ever visit till 2017 i think it was the first time i started to browse this uh they would use those Wi-Fi extenders. They would use Wi-Fi from the neighbors 
they will expand uh, to our house and then they will use to the laptop to demonstrate me this wonderful different world and products and companies that would enter my life through the so-called MK Ultra. You see all these companies that you see from Smile, from uh, not from Smile, from uh, yeah Smile, uh, from Smile, Smile. Uh, Sanda from you name it, Skme and so on. All these companies, uh, Chinese funded companies, Japanese, Casio, Seiko and so on. All these CEO executives, main salespeople, even customer service representatives, they would enter this house. They would enter the world. They would have me delivered to their, to their, um, to their headquarters, customer service headquarters, uh, to China, to the Philippines, to Japan. But me meeting these people, totally different world, without granting me absolutely any kind of ability to survive in it. It is this is okay. This is okay because there's one thing that the people who ran this pedo crime beginning nine months of my age did not still did not manage to determine basically about what will come out of this, what will come out of me. And the thing about it is I will explain to you all these watches that you see it's a, for instance I did send question to my friends <clears throat> to China uh, basically asking them I said to them I said well could you please tell me because there is certain washes that I like very much and I would like to buy. Would you please tell me about these issues? Please help me out and explain to me. Uh, yeah, I'm going to open another one because I want to use this issue here. Well, it, 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 stick around. Stick around because after this video, it's like I suggested at the beginning of the video, you will want to change the world. You will want to participate in life. Stick around. It might seem even crazy a little bit and so on, but it has important, important, important message in it. There's nothing in the world, nothing in the world more violent would you believe this? Including the rape, including the mass killing of people, than the watch that you see right there. Would you believe this? Would you believe that's the most violent thing in the world? It is more violent even that if I would be using some of you would refer to the females as pussy to drive you insane. If this is a thriller, but it does have a very, very important message that some nations managed to answer already. Some others did not. And the situation across the world is rapidly deteriorating. It's deteriorating actually so fast that we are in the midst of the World War III. The First World War, the span between the First World War and the Second World War was about 30-something years. The span between the Second World War and the Third World War is about 80 years. I don't know how much time we have left to stop this, if we can stop this at all. 
So I was going to say, if we're not going to start resolving these issues, it's not about stopping it, but resolving these issues on a multitude, on a global level, we will get into the World War III because there is people that work diligently night and day to pull us down again into the massacre, into the bloodshed. Last time, I actually did not check how many people died in the World War I, but in the World War II, the last time we have World War, they say even 80 million people perished. And it was said during MK Ultra when they were talking about these issues that they will be one and a half billion up to two billion people that will perish. And with some people that were involved in it who were extremely disturbed with a population growth, and you should be, every one of you, by the way, Every one of us should be disturbed with the trend of the super population growth. In a country that cannot self-sustain and should look forward to uh, nations that are out there to help them out, like I suggested already in my videos, uh, it is a troubling factor for entire humanity because it pulls down everybody. At the same time, uh, it's something that acknowledges, reasserts and affirms the presence of a native people, hopefully from whatever it is that you are. But on the other hand, and it's important to maintain that healthy level, sure, but on the other hand, you know, the explosion of population also had a very, very adverse, very, very negative impact. Uh, I'm not going to say on the whole picture, but really on development of the, of the humanity. It is, so this is also this video I will dedicate to this issue, you know. If this really, really, really helped me understand the whole thing. It really, really, really helped me to understand the whole thing. Really, really helped me. People that were going to fuck me with these issues have made a big, big, big mistake. When I, sometimes it looks I'm crazy, maybe insane, by staring at one thing for a very, very long time. It seems like just as I could not get enough of it. But the thing is, that there is always a reason for that because it's always smarter i come out of it it's always i learned from it it's always something that i use that takes me much further than i possibly could imagine dream about there was so many issues involved in this stuff and if you and i if i would and i did connected these issues together there's a whole a lot of big picture that I can paint myself about what this world is all about. The past, the present, and the future. So, you know, the journey with this issues, and I don't know where exactly I was earlier a little bit. I'm going to get to that issue because I can't. I cannot avoid these issues because they, they intertangle, they intertwine with one another. Anyways, you know, for me, it all started with this watch here. Okay, so before I go to this watch, um, I stopped here by sending a message to the people, uh, sellers uh, of a certain watch that I like. I basically asked them about how thick, you know, the certain watch is, you know. I was I was trying to establish how thick is this watch, you know, for instance. I was asking if they could please tell me how thick is this watch, you know. I like this and that, you know, could you please tell me and, and uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, you know. Uh, let me let me do it like this so that you can see this from a little up closer yes like that so 
nobody replied because this these boys they work for this company and um they're not so boys uh, this is about my age or maybe younger and so um maybe some is even older than myself it was also older uh, i like this executive from smile if he was not owner i think he was the owner you know this guy a little feisty guy that would always come to visit me here to slovenia in our house he has daughters and so on uh, he is the owner you know i remember the time the way he started his company and everything the way he started you know his first watch when he started um, it could be that might have been i don't know maybe even you know then he had a partner you know that he worked with there were like two three of them and so on uh and in our house here in the city of the novo mesto he would what i like about him is that he was so uh persistent about things and uh, was just so feisty he was he he fought so much for you know every <laughs> for everything every watch he understood that he could manufacture was to him so important because obviously it it, it assisted one in companies development you know and um uh, he would meet the politicians including the politicians from his own country from china that would help these people do the transactions like for instance the what i demonstrated you right there there was another company they get the watches from uh, yeah this stuff is all from casio you know people ask what my favorite watch is what was my favorite watch this here is my favorite watch except this very very expensive this is the omega that you see right there very very expensive stuff you know but this is basically what i had in my mind when when i envisioned to do a time something something yeah it actually it's it's a really good stuff that you know see how old these watches are right these are in terms of watches in terms of technologies they are ancient and the technology that you see right there should be already available to you all for tennis on dollar basically you know but this is not the case basically they made this kind of stuff they used to manufacture simply disappear and it would be watches that would become thicker and thicker uh, yeah some of that you have on display for a really really low costs you know uh, but you know um that kind of stuff you have in very very seldom designs um apart from what should be very very much apart from should what should be you know the watches became instead thicker and thicker and thicker and when i say thicker and thicker and thicker i mean a price range price wise you know um so
Is it Loris? No, it's not Loris. That's from Seiko. Um, okay. The bigger company is that he would get. This is another company that is. I, it's not going to come to me right now. It's also based in China, where the company that they would give him for sell him basically. But they they when they when they would make sales, it would be like give me. He would always say to these people, talking about the owner here from uh, from the Smile Company. Uh, not from Sanda, but from Sm from uh, Smile Company. He would all, he would refer to he would say to them. He would say to them. He would say, uh, "Give me, you know, give me that watch too. Give me this watch too." And this manufacturer that would be already manufacturing this watch is for a very very long time in China, much longer time. Uh, would go and would say, "Okay." Okay, you will get this one or whatever they would decide. And they would get better technology, basically. This technology would go literally through Japan, not through the British royals. This is all Japan, Japanese-made technology. That's why I would say to you, it depends on you. It's, it always comes to the cost. Uh, but you definitely cannot go wrong with these issues, you know. If you if you really want to go and you want to purchase yourself a Chinese watch, low cost watch, you're not going to go wrong with it. But you know, the point today about all this stuff is something completely different. Um, the point about all this stuff. Uh, let me see. Oh, we're going to go back here. So did I finish? Did I make the point about this stuff here? Okay. No. I suppose not. You know, I asked them, you know, could you please tell me what is the size of, of this watch? And, you know, when I say what is the size of this, what can I actually, let me see if I can, sure that we can do this stuff here. There you go. And uh, so I go here and I go like this. And so I wanted to know what exactly is the size of this watch, you know, because this was the biggest issue during MK Ultra was this. I learned. I learned. Nobody gave me any kind of answer to yet. Yes. So you can trust me that stuff I'm talking about is from MK Ultra. Everybody talk about the sizing when it comes to the sizing. They talk about they misrepresented the issue. They know they, they lied basically. The thickness of the watch is what you see here, this black 
housing here that you see, the, just the housing. You see this housing here? That's all there is. That's what they claim is the thickness of the case, of the watch case, when in reality is also this here that makes a complete thickness of the housing. And because of me, really because of me, uh, this company is Smile and another company, I it doesn't come to me right now, this stuff, because there's so many, but I think it starts with the L, whatever. I'm going to try to find or whatever. But they figure out that this here, this housing here, it was too damn thick. There were two things that bothered me when it comes to the watch during MK Ultra. And when it all started with the Chinese manufacturers back in the day, I made some really, really bad enemies. Uh, really, really bad enemies. I made s with some enemies that uh, some that absolutely, absolutely hated me. They they were sure some of these guys that started manufacturing that through the use of uh, violence, they eventually will manage to convince that stuff they do is just the stuff the way it should be. So it was a lot of screaming, yelling, and death threats, like I will kill you and so on and so forth. You don't like my watch because you don't like the Chinese people and so on, all kinds of stuff like this. This is basically where I will stop, and I'm going to take a screenshot of this baby here. I'm going to copy paste this baby here. There you go. And uh, then it also became evident that the people that would listen to me would prosper, and the people that would not listen to me, regardless of how much work ethics input they would insert it in the work and efforts they would just disappear because people would not purchase no fucking watches from them and it became evident that it had nothing to do with me liking chinese or not liking chinese they went bankrupt basically because they did not adjust themselves to the market needs so what we have here is a prime example uh, of what in many features that I see there no longer even exists and you cannot purchase. Uh, some of the stuff I'm going to talk to you about in this case is still there, it's still present. Uh, much of it does not even exist anymore. You know, this watches used to be thick about two and a half centimeters back in the day when it all started maybe even three centimeters my god they were fucking thick so thick that it was bizarrely ridiculous to me when they started to insist me that it's gonna be the watch that i will wear and funny me in my life I would only wear, I would not even have a wallet in my pocket. I would just take the money, throw one together with a driver license in the pocket, which is a really, really bad habit, and you shouldn't do this. And that would be for me fine. As for the watch, I prefer not to even wear one. Uh, I would actually even ask people for the time. I hated anything on me. I would not have a chain, you know, the people had here this uh, since I was little, I, I, I got to watch this. Friends around me wearing their crosses and chains around their neck. I was a bad Christian too, because I would not put the chain around my neck. I didn't like any fucking chain. I didn't like any kind of 
not silver, not gold. I fucking hated gold when I see those guys wearing gold and stuff like this. I actually I really didn't like that. I, I had a really strange feeling when I was watching people wearing those golden chains and shit. Uh, silver, silver. All right, silver. Uh, chain the first silver chain that i put around my neck uh and even and i was bad even then i was a bad christian even then it, it, it didn't have a cross on it. it i was i was i was just like i was just like 14 years old actually no 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 i was like 16, 15 years old, 16 years old kid, grown up already, basically, when I would put a chain around my neck, basically, because there was some chick that I liked it. Uh, I was trying to impress her, whatever. And so I was in every sense, I was not compliant with social normatives of what the society dictated and I, I really didn't like this maybe probably most likely is because of this mk ultra stuff that i did not like no fucking chain i didn't like chain i didn't care if it was golden or whatever the fuck it was i didn't want what i wanted to do is i wanted to break free from the chain basically so you know when they told me this is going to be a watch and it was like three centimeters it would stick i swear to you i'm not fucking kidding i i was in china and they showed me this watch the three centimeter watch which there is a people there is some of you that you like that you absolutely love that three centimeters stick maybe it was even four centimeters stick i don't fucking know i have never seen stuff like this i think it was three and a half centimeters stick I think it was three and a half centimeters thick watch. It was something like this. And uh, it was probably even the watch that was made to literally stress the fuck out of me. I don't know if they sell the stuff like this. You they probably you can buy anything in this world now. Uh, but uh, it was that kind of watch. Like you would have the shoes that that they would have like heels, you know, like heels. That would be like one kilo heavy or something like that. You get the kind of funny stuff, funky stuff that they were doing to me. Basically, I think, I think probably to just stress the shit out of me. And it was this Chinese manufacturer, this this man uh, that was yes, the words feisty, feisty as fuck. Uh, angry that you you don't fucking like my watch and so on you you know no i don't i don't like your watch fuck your watch i will not wear this and he was not the only one there was more like this and these guys believe it or not they sell this kind of watches this kind of fashion and i actually think that they were angry on me because it was the way to sell the watches. I think there was a public behind all this that watched this stuff and they would buy the watches from them because they were just displaying on their behalf, on, the, on behalf of the customers of the certain clientele or social group, if you like, that was like this, I don't know, pink or whatever, they just embrace this type of stuff basically doing nasty stuff to people uh blaming them for something that they had nothing to do with it uh and basically um issues that help these sellers sell watches for which I think they know, they all of them know that, that this is just some kind of poker game like this to make money till they would have enough money to build a better watch or something like this. I think this is, this is I think, that what it was. But 
the way this stuff was presented to me was in a such an angry way and so on. The thing is that this that this uh, this sellers eventually uh, disappear one by one. They were really really aggressive people. I think they were like they, like you would go like like you would go and uh, and uh, and you would say oh uh, I'm looking to hire the people. And you would have like normal people knocking on your door. They would be looking for the job. Hi, sir. How are you? Yeah. Hi. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Yes. I am such and such. I I have experience in this. Maybe you would even mention uh, potential employers that you have a good social skills, that you know how to relate yourself to people well, work in group, that you're a team player, whatever. Uh, but no, man. I think these people with the money... I think these people with the money, I think they were looking for the special, special, special kind of clientele, you know? I think they were looking for a very, very special clientele, and you would not qualify as such. For you would qualify for these issues, you would have to be a nasty motherfucker. You would have to be a person that is willing, that is committed to crime, that is willing to do something nasty to somebody. And it would be based on that that you would then be entitled to investments and so on. So they were looking for fucking criminals that were just simply criminals that, like, like you would, like, disregard, like, 200 people when they would apply for the job and then you would have like some kind of criminal basically scammer some kind of fucker basically that you would find in a in a junkyard somewhere behind the building that where he would be stashing basically corpses literally into into the dumpsters or something like that throwing them inside hire one for the ceo basically so he would represent your uh your your company, your firm, your brand, basically. And this would be your new CEO, basically, that you would hire, and so that you could, and they did, and they did, and they did hire this. They did. They were looking for this type of people all over the place. They did. They were looking for the people that will fucking kill you. They were fucking willing and ready to kill for a dollar, basically and lie, and cheat, and misrepresent, and do whatever the fuck it takes. I'm not going to say to get ahead, but to get the job done. And when I say get the job done, this is a very, very, very interesting thriller. But it's true. Real, through thriller. Real stuff that went on during MK Ultra. They did hard stuff like that. They did. It was not a problem in me. It was not a problem in watch. The question here was how to make the fucking watch that people eventually would embrace. That means when I say watch, I mean the special type of culture, the special type of religion, the special type of uh, atmosphere, uh, anger, basically, the world. Make the world fucking mad. Make the world basically divisive as much as possible so we could basically kill one another. So we could hurt one another. Now, this type of sellers, despite the money, despite the capital that was invested in them, um, disappeared from the market. There was some domestic violence even that started to develop. Uh, there was all kinds of shit that started to happen in their family circles despite the money and so on. Uh, I have no fucking idea how it all ended, but eventually, one by one, these throaters started to disappear from the stage. You know how the Joker is laughing on the movies. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, this was a Prince Andrew and Prince Charles, when it all started in China, back in 1995, 1993, 94, 95, it was just 
having a really good fucking time over there, causing crazy stuff, 1990, looking for stupid shit, basically spending in pounds to invest into the complete lunacy. And in the midst of it, I was thrown in there in a very, very same fashion, like you would see Atkinson in Black Edda, let's say, uh, when he is poured in front of the castle uh, with a urine, with a with whatever waste, uh, when he wants to enter one, like in a in 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 a black humor way, in a very very unfunny way, basically, uh, make me act like earnest, honest, and always get fucked basically for it, beaten up. And it was like really, really entertaining. This type of atmosphere was a really, really, really cool. And those are days of peace, prosperity, uh, people running around looking for dollars to earn anything, you know, to get to to get things going. No, everything was not like this. The British did not manage to uh, poison the entire society like this. Most of the Chinese to become a manufacturers, business people, um, did require through the government more and more from these British investors to act normal, basically to invest into industry that eventually will grow into prosperity. They quoted these people a joke, they marginalized them, and they systematically pushed them out of uh, the business. Uh, it did not look uh, long term why it would look like these people would hold on to it forever. Uh, now, the watches did change. Uh, what started with with the three centimeters, uh, it eventually, eventually shrank to about, uh, well, to about. Uh, 2.2 centimeters and then they were really 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 super super feisty with me uh they would not give in and those uh seven millimeters i i demanded from them to make the watch that would be as thick as no more than one centimeter uh, now, they were using as an excuse for this type of watch a Japanese-made Casio, so-called uh, G-Shock. They rationalized me, no, 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 because the people have uh, taste uh, in Japan. You will never prove us wrong because it's in Japan that uh, Japanese, they make this G-Shock extremely, extremely successful. And uh, yeah, that stuff is sick. And uh, uh, I used to sell one in the store, in the store from my ex-wife, basically my own store. Uh, used to sell those watches, all kinds of G-Shock watches, and uh, it was anticipated how I'm going to buy one, and this now, nah, fuck, I'm not going to buy, not even for a wholesale, whatever price. I wouldn't buy that stuff, because it was just, to me, uh, if you remember when I told you that, for me, for me, the watch like this, Basically, the little watch, just the tiny little watch that had the numbers on it, I figure out just watch, simple watch, um, would do the job for me. I, I, I tested so many watches, okay? And the truth is that the best that I felt was without the watch on my wrist, without the chain around my neck. And... Uh, uh, if I had to have the watch, just as the people witnessed throughout MK Ultra, uh, then it was just a little like for the ladies' watch. Not even the watch that you see right there, but it would be watch like this, and it would be with a small diameter. Uh, as guys that that uh, they watch me, they said, "Oh fuck!" They said, "You are wearing the watches for the ladies, basically. Small watch like this already, like you're like in a category of the ladies now. 
you're wearing the watches that ladies not even fucking wear even the ladies wear bigger watches than you and so on so i guess i i i became in a sense uh, like like almost i would say like a perfect watch for me it would be like a watch like you see like this one here this was like a perfect 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 watch for me and i was gonna say that's like a perfect feminine watch well yes uh, the watches that the ladies would have uh, would be like this was like a perfect perfect watch for me almost like super except that the belt did you see that would not be the belt i would use i would put a different belt like a military nato strap something like that and uh, i would be just really happy with this we, we would be fine with me if i already have to put the watch on my wrist i mean you know just to know what time it is but no i did not like i didn't like any watches really i preferred to have not watch to have nothing not even wallet i started to hate everything the further it went, the more, the more I felt that, uh, you know, I would just want to have something very light, very easy, something like this. I became a really, really interesting person. Differently, I would observe the things and so on. And if it was only possible, as thin as possible, like five millimeter would be my preferred thick size. So yes, I know that the guys started to really, really, I remember people that were involved, like Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield, and Lennox Lewis and this, and they were looking at me and it was like, you you are becoming really, really strange. And they were, they were with such a thirst, they would like this kind of stuff that you see here. You know, there, uh, there's nothing wrong with this watch. Uh, uh the way it fits uh, you know you are more now like a lady and yeah i really was becoming more like i was becoming chunky and the world was just becoming different around me because all i wanted to do is you know liberate myself from this and the further i wanted to liberate myself from it at the worst, the whole thing was becoming, uh, you know, those people became more and more empowered. Uh, the more that I gave in, uh, in, in the better I was off because giving a real output in it, it would preemptively terminate my life. And the, the key here was to survive, basically. So it was everything that I set for myself was like on a long-term survival mode, basically. All right, so we go back to these watches. Um, you you don't want, in, in abnormal circumstances, you should never respond normally. This is just something I'm going to tell you, that in abnormal circumstances, do not respond normally because if it's too much that you can handle you're gonna burn out and in my life the world was the world they refer to everybody refers to as a world of alice of wonderland you couldn't get it right man no matter what the fuck you would do no matter how you would be normal whatever you would do it would only get you so in trouble don't even try basically so this thickness it changed it went from really i'm telling you three and a half centimeters all the way to two point half centimeters and it was big fight i had already with a very decent manufacturers it, it reduced the 2.2 centimeters uh and then this company owner from smile and uh, um Another company, uh, another company, another company who basically inherited these watches that they always work together. These are very good friends, uh, really like brothers. Uh, they just, they simply 
they inherited this technology machines they would help them to establish themselves and so on and uh, simply they would start to let me see this stuff you know no i know which one it is i know which one it's okay it's this one here no it's this one here i'm gonna demonstrate this is actually really really perfect for me because it will confirm that the first one the first manufacturer of the watch that you see there was actually not the smile you know like it says right there the brand is smile no it's not the first manufacturer of the watch was this one oh, this watch was this one here let me demonstrate this stuff here yeah this is here smile uh, and then you have the same watch here it's just some other company name um i guess yeah there is different people that want smile to manufacture watch under their name under their name you know like let's say you would have schwarzenegger which you do have manufacturing not manufacturing but having your names stamped on their brand names stamped on whatever products and they they really sell to people and stuff like that and with different designs and so on um i should say schwarzeneggers a little people from Hollywood that would get into this business. It's not Loris, it's, uh, it's something. Uh, Strive, Strive was also one, this here, but no, no, there is another, uh, there is another, all this name, so uh, I am just trying to. It's not Scme, it's another one. It's another company that was producing, manufacturing this model. Okay. Hey, they, they so much bombarded with this issue that is now uh, proving me terribly, terribly wrong. So I will pause this thing and find this brand with exactly the same watch that I just have demonstrated you. Okay, it, uh, it took me a little bit uh, and basically I got it uh there you go it's called league you know if you go here and you just uh, enter this thing here and you get and you get this league watch uh, exactly the same model basically it's now what is this here well these are the models the company that was manufacturing these watches before i think the smile uh, something like this and they exchanged the technology with one another both companies were involved in it and i think this is what it is so that
Yeah, this is perfect. We have this stuff. Yeah, I see that stuff. I see, I see. Um, maybe. Maybe I did go wrong with this here. Yeah, maybe I, maybe I actually entered the wrong model. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. This here, this is, it's called the Fox Box. Uh, this is from this company also, Ligue. You see, this company, Ligue, um, They have a different watches, right? So you see Liga, and then you have a Fox box, and you have this Navy Force, and you have the current uh, uh, British, I think, had a lot to do with this brand. I think uh, they manufactured the stuff in China, and then they delivered this to the Europe and so on uh and so on and so forth and so on and so forth um i don't know i think this uh maybe stuff like this that you see princess Anne insisted on more fine stuff that is delivered to the europe but this is not true you know it's not true it, this is exactly why this video it's not true uh, the truth is that this issue here persisted, this. It persisted two and a half centimeters till I made, till I have driven crazy the owners of this company, Ligue, the Chinese manufacturers, I so much provocated them that they finally would, uh, let me see, it should be, it should be, what the, I'm gonna leave this picture here. Fox box like this. Is it eight six? I think I did. Yes. And so this is a Fox box. The model that was manufactured already before it was manufactured by the sm smile i think by the smile i think i think there was another company one of these companies from league whatever it is uh, let me let me see that box box league watches This uh, video is not stupid. I am warning you, you're not wasting time. For you to become self-aware, certain degree of stupidity you will have to tolerate. It took me enormous amount of investigation to get this stuff done. I would even summarize my life in this video to a certain extent. Actually, 
I, I would summarize your life in this video to the very great extent without you even realizing what goes on with you. So it pays off to stay around, to watch, to pay attention to this. This is actually <clears throat> a thriller I'm doing right now. It looks very, very peaceful. You know, it looks just as peaceful as this. Is there anything in this world that looks more peaceful than this? It looks totally, totally peaceful. It looks totally, totally normal. With my pointing out people, how they properly maintain their weight, their posture in a society, they dignify themselves nicely, you know? Just simply uh, everything so chic, according to the social etiquette, appropriate. Nobody is fat around here. Nobody looks retarded or anything like this. Everything, everybody is well dressed and well behaved. Everything is so normal that I can't help but to make this video for you people can't help but to make this video for you. So it pays off to stick around to watch this stuff eventually. I look, I don't know which one of those watches from this company here, Ligue. Uh, and because I don't know, but I do know, Ha, ah, there are so many. There are just so many. This stuff is not very helpful. Well, you know, it's possible that I am using a very, very browser that I shouldn't. And then it's everything that's totally, totally blocked or something. And that's exactly what this was.
really stealing off. All right, it's not my lucky day when it comes to this stuff. Uh, just three items here, and what else do we have here? Oh. Fuck it, if the website doesn't work, then whatever is stored, we'll do the job. But that's a fox box right there when I, I demonstrated you. Yep. That's exactly the same watch I was demonstrating you earlier under the brand name, which I demonstrated you as 8060 Smile. This is the watch that was manufactured already for quite some time by Liga. See this? And for whatever reason today, Liga company would not display one, which is like really, really strange to me. Why would you not display now this watch? It's strange that you would not display this watch now. Because just yesterday and the day before yesterday, I browsed one. And what's interesting about this watch Contrary to the specifications I obtained from this website here that you see, which is AliExpress. I found, because I couldn't find anywhere this watch, I couldn't find past 2023, going to earlier times, such as 2022, 2021, 2020, 2015, whatever, I couldn't find one. They advertise one as a smile is new watch. Totally, totally new watch. I couldn't go past that. Contrary, I found that this watch, exactly the same model, under the name Foxbox from Liege. Liege. Exactly, exactly identical watch. 
totally, totally identical watch. Totally, totally identical watch existed already much, much, much earlier on the market. Like if I put this one here, I'm going to put this here as a Liga watch. And if I just take this and put this right next to here like this, just to demonstrate you how much the same this is, it's totally, totally identical watch under the different brand name. Because this, for this one is advertised as a fox box from Ligue, and this one here is a smile. But it's identical. Do you see this? And the thing about stuff that I was telling you earlier about the Ligue, it appears to be factual. With the watch that you see right there from Ligue, from Foxbox, technology being transferred to the smile which began to manufacture one in 2000, probably in 23, for the first time, I think. That's my version, my possibility of it. For this model, however, what makes it interesting, and that's why I inquire about this issue from the Chinese, also manufacturers at Smile, is the thickness of this watch. I'm going to take this off because this case thickness advertised on AliExpress for the Smile Watch, as I demonstrated you earlier, is 16 millimeters. Also, the watch that I demonstrated you right there, it says that the thickness of the watch is actually much, much, much greater. It says here, Hmm. It doesn't actually even say what the thickness is, but the thickness should be around, like, I think, 22 millimeters. 22 millimeters and 16 millimeters. This is a big, big, big difference, don't you think? Huge difference. Well, let's take this one here, for example, and let's hope that we will get to, to one and get to see one. They say that doesn't exist. Have you seen that? Uh, it's like, it looks like as if Liga Foxbox would discontinue this watch. And what's interesting, I still was capable to find this watch. I was capable to find this watch. I was capable to find this watch. I still was capable to find this watch at the Ligue, at the website of the Ligue that I demonstrated you earlier. It was still there. It was still listed. And it was listed under the Ligue Foxbox 8060 as the model. And it no longer is. It doesn't exist anymore. You would only have to enter here the number 80, 60, and you would get the watch that you were able to see. But it seems like since yesterday, can you imagine you come to the website and all of a sudden the watch disappears from the website? Because you come to the website, the watch no longer is available anywhere. It doesn't exist in the system anymore. So then you know that something, something out there is just something. So when I come back to this issue here, A little bit sad I am because I cannot establish exact size of this beauty here. It won't give me this. It's okay. I'm just going to go somewhere else and I'm going to find this model. You know, every watch 
should have the name, the model, but it seems like here, not even the model of the watch is given anywhere. How interesting, because the watch was all over the place. You could easily verify one and how quickly the whole thing changed. Now it's so difficult to find um, and uh, even demonstrate this model. So is it maybe this one that's going to answer the question? All right, I tell you what, uh, so that's not going to be doubt. Or uh, conspiracy theory wise, I, I will try to log myself through the Gmail. If it's going to accept it. No, it will not take. It doesn't accept this it does there you go there there is a watch there is a there is a watch well there was a watch they say it's a loading issue there was a watch the watch is gone though Funny stuff, maybe because, probably because I am from this region or something and they would not demonstrate me that. But you know what, they have here another one, the same one from, it's called Lazada, so maybe we're going to be luckier this time. There you go. Here is your Fox box. Exactly, again, identical watch to the one I demonstrated you is on sale right now. But I am right now interested in something else. I would like to get the name of the model, which is exactly the model. You see it? I, this is so beautiful picture that I will go back here. And I will go like this. I will copy paste one. Right next to the one that Adi right now however with the with a exactly with the, under this name here so I'm gonna demonstrate you later that edition no no I'm not here to teach you about uh, where to buy yourself uh, a good watch for little money no 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 uh, I am here basically exactly exactly the same thing but here 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 this is what we are getting now this is a dial then the diameter, uh, but they don't tell you what the thickness of the watch is. They're very, very sensitive. This is like a very, very weak issue that everybody involved in MK Ultra learn when selling this watch. There is one thing you don't want to discuss about is basically how the watch is thick. 
it's a really thick watch it's like 22 millimeters two centimeters and two millimeters thick something that casio even came out under the brand known as a g-shock so basically rationalize that as yeah well you know it's a normal thing so let's do this stuff again this is the model the model that i told you i did not lie to you it was advertised like this 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 is the model uh it should be under this type of model that should be sold uh but they change it they change it that's crazy because this is how i find about this model and this is old model they manufacture this league company that was several other companies that united under this league company into a broader bigger brand sometimes i don't really know in 2013 2015 i think between i think i would say in 2013 they merged with another company you know under under one umbrella and so on so this regardless of this stuff here uh and it aha there is actually they call it fb0052 0052 even the, the model that i told you about earlier i was capable to find one so it doesn't matter let's go under this model here And the point here is that twenty three millimeters, twenty three millimeters. Okay, cool. Twenty three millimeters. So uh, sometimes in uh, Two thousand and eleven, and in two thousand and eleven, I th uh, smile exists since two thousand and fifteen. I think something like that. Company, but it doesn't matter because these people manufactured whatever under whatever company before whatever they were doing. These people always in the watch business. They were doing this kind of stuff, uh, so it makes no difference really. For whatever company these people worked at Smile, whatever they were, under, or I should say manufacturer under whichever brand they were using at the time, they came up with idea. They told me to impress you, to impress me, basically. Fuck no, it didn't impress me. It impressed all the people that purchased the watch from you because you started to succeed and you started to excel because of this shit. Nobody wants to buy really a, a thick watch, you know. Everybody wants the watch that is that is as thin as possible, so that you can wear one all the time with the comfort on your hand. Uh, also, when you go and you sleep, whatever that you do, you know. There you go gonna do is I am gonna use it's actually even the same color this reference here look dial thickness is 23 millimeters you see it so it was a really really interesting question I wasn't sure because the watch is totally identical and I wanted to make sure because during MK Ultra I told you about it was the plastic that determined the thickness of the housing yes and not the metal part behind the 
black housing that you see. Therefore, the cover of the housing, the one that seals the watch, the one that makes the watch water resistant behind. So I, I was inquiring about how thick this stuff is. And, you know, in 2010, in 2011, I think it could be the owners now of what is a smile. Came up with what they told me, he and his colleague, and they might actually even work together in the same company as Ligue, with a solution to this problem, they told me, which is going to help reduce the thickness of the watch for several millimeters. At least, they claim me like three, maybe even five millimeters. Sure, this was a great uh, solution for the people that like thicker, louder than thick watch. A thicker, I am crazy, thicker and thick. I mean, come on. Uh, thin, right? Thinner. So uh, they would change the back cover that I demonstrated you. Uh, they would change that one. Uh, is it still here? They would they would change that one and therefore reduce the thickness of the watch into a thinner a thinner size the whole thing the body so it would be more comfortable for the people now the watch that i demonstrated you on is advertised under the 16 millimeters and this one here the same watch under the 23 millimeters now so that's a difference whether seven millimeter uh, the watch is thick or thinner is a big difference it's the same 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 watch the thing is that another issue that i got into during mk ultra and that determined the fate of manufacturers was this issue here. I started to selectively attack the idea which the British royals claimed me existed only in my head, it did not exist. This here. This here. Do you see it? I'm going to take a print, zoom myself out like this, and we just do this. And we'll take uh, like this and remove this. I'm going to pop one right here, and I'm going to compare this with this here so that you can understand exactly what I mean. So now, if you look at these two watches, there is something that happens, and it actually really sucks when you put this on the water from the certain corner. The watch that you see, the smile watch, is going to be even uh, due to the sun, due to glare, difficult to see, and it looks funny when compared to the watch you see below Omega. What it means is that this here issue becomes problematic. This from the glass all the way down becomes an issue. It looms the bright, the light, and it makes it difficult to see and even more it looks watch looks stupid opposed to what you see here basically a very very small thing uh, with the numbers totally straight here we actually see these markers it's called the marker under the corner under the certain corner that you see right there it looks uh, it, it makes one ugly when compared to the one below it really does this is the second strike that I delivered to the British Royals that were making watches more and more ugly. 
the more the time passed, the more the watches were becoming, they always found a way to make the watch uglier. The more the time passed, the crazier the watches began to look like. They started to make the picture ugly next to the forced unemployment. They started to rape me. Not that they started. Their main weapon, the main weapon of choice of the British Royals, always was a forced unemployment. Basically, what you see throughout the Britain, United States of America, Germany, and elsewhere. Western Europe, Western world always was the forced unemployment. Then the second thing was. making people to settle for the same things that people with a poor standard around the world with a low budget were compelled to settle for. And you would do so through the forced unemployment you would do so uh, through exactly technologies that I demonstrated you here, or rather than to open alternative to the poor people in the poor parts of the world by offering them the technology that you see below, basically, that should be already available for absolutely anybody around the world because the cost that you see right there for the watch of the Omega is practically completely indifferent in manufacturing as from the cost that you see right there for the company Smile. They wanted to see a British people, a British male, on exactly the same level as the male in India or in China, power in poverty terms. Do you understand me what I'm trying to say? Whether you're in China or whether you're in India, you have to understand the technology of Omega that you see right there should be in fact available to you for the very same cost, not exactly the same thing. But if it would be thick, like I told you, one centimeter, and it easily could be. Um, it would make you look too good. It would make you look too normal. And the thing is that you must not look normal. Because this is the status that is reserved for the people that you see right there. Do you understand? You don't have the right to be normal. You do have to buy. You do have to pay for two centimeter. You are forced to pay for the two centimeters, whether you like it or not. And with you, it's also the British natives and Germans and Americans, and French, and everybody else that have to pay for the two centimeter. You have to pay for the two centimeter. I told you it's going to be a very violent video. It's going to be more personal than your pussy. You have to pay for the two centimeter. You have to pay for the two and a half centimeter. You have to. You have to. Whether you like it or not, you have to. If you want thinner, you're going to have to pay so, so fucking big. Eh? You're going to go back here. And you're not going to get anything as pretty as you have seen right there. And you're going to have to pay like a Christ. I'm going to show you. Don't think that they don't have the watches that are thinner. They do. 
but you're going to have to pay for it. You will have to pay for that centimeter. You will have to pay for that centimeter and a half. You know what? Do this stuff yourself. I don't want to bother you with waste my time on this stuff. This here, for instance, is a thinner watch. This skme, let's say. But it doesn't look so appealing, let's say. The next thing that bothered me with this watches, it was actually the first thing that bothered me with this watches, was this issue here. This, this is the first thing that I attacked next to the thickness. It was the screen itself that I used to attack them with. It was this issue here. This. Because this watch, you cannot even see the time on a sunny day. It's all black. The numbers disappear and you cannot see it. However, this one here stays clear and bright and you can see black and white. You can see it all the time. You can see it contrary to this here. It was this same technology of the racism I told you earlier. They have used as an excuse for the black screen. It was again that I was a racist and this and that. And it was again a certain circle, certain portion of the society. They managed to drag in to push people down the throat something that really you know should have been the history already long ago so that they can look normal so we we are we are we keep buying ourselves as a people as a humanity we keep buying ourselves extras so they who run this circus this zoo as they also refer to themselves and look as normal as much as possible. They that you see right there, they went ahead, not stopped there, and they would example me next to making fun of me, ridiculing me, laughing in my face. You see, the more money you pay, the thinner it gets. The finer it gets, the more you can see the numbers, the more normal it is. And they claim that you just have to go out there and you have to pay a lot of fucking money to get something like this. So the first thing that I would do, if I will finish this, will become a manufacturer of the watches. I'm going to make sure that my watches are going to look like the watch you see right here. And it's going to be about one centimeter thin or thick, whatever you want to say. It's still thick when it's one centimeter. Those are the things that I'm going to try to deliver to people, whatever I am, for the price exactly like you see here. So that I would set my standard of normality for every one of you why would i do this kind of stuff why would i want to do this kind of stuff because right now there is people from japan and china in the in united states and in germany and in france that want to kill me for saying stuff like this why would i want to do this kind of stuff because you make money with it i understand well, I would want to do the stuff like this simply because this kind of issues are being used to drive people mad, insane. And are being used for average British male, German male, French male, American male to keep people in 
the bottom completely in line with the people from the third world. Not really from the third world, but from countries in development, whatever you want to say this. India, China, they rather than to help them get a good technology and satisfy their needs, they are forcing this type of stuff universally against every one of you with a certain purpose. Let me demonstrate to you. My interest for this type of watch did not exist. I can assure you my internet service provider definitely can. Started with exactly this order here. It started with this order here. This is the order that triggered my interest. Exactly the watch that you see right there. Goes to you could not sell me this watch. You see it? You could not sell me this watch. You could not sell me this watch, and you could not sell me that watch, and you could not sell me you could not sell me any of these fucking watches, even that it is the same as this watch, let's say. You could not sell me any of those watches. So it was a very, 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 again, specific, specific watch that triggered my interest. And it was exactly with a plastic band. Wristband is the one that you see right there. The watch that I wanted. They call it the king. And they call it even the return of the king because... It would be the watch that would kill me. And then the, the, it would set free the, the, the British king. Because obviously that I am, I, am a, I am a pest. I am a death that stalked the British royals. This is what I was told, that I am the one that stalked and uh, just a pest, basically. I'm a fucking pest that have stalked the British royals uh, and was all there basically to destroy them. This is basically how they triggered my interest. And it was exactly this watch they have used to push down my throat. Other watches that I demonstrated you, which is fine with me, because I found more about what went on during MKUltra. And what should actually otherwise, it did definitely, it was used to humiliate me. It was used to humiliate me at large. Uh, I, I don't fucking know what brand this display watch. It was really used to, 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 to insult me by gesturing, yeah, you're going to be buying this, you know. And basically what they would be buying, they would be buying, they would only be buying like the ones I'm going to demonstrate you now. This is this is childish here from AliExpress blocking me here. Come on, guys, that I cannot access this feature here. Yeah, with AliExpress. Now you're gonna look stupid, and it just goes to show how much you work with with the British royals. You know? You're ridiculing yourself by doing that kind of stuff. You shouldn't be you shouldn't be damaging yourself. Oh no, nobody answered. Nobody bothered to answer that question. They told me not before the sale ends. But other than that, the watches that I was told by the British Royals, they import 
to Britain are the watches that look like this Navy Force, whatever it is, Navy Force, and then you have this band, whatever it is. Uh, is it this navy force uh it's what they import to britain this is like a big topic which what they import what british alone royals alone import and uh for the navy force some model this and that whatever it is um not also not all of them and so on you now basically this kind of stuff and they were ridiculing me you're not gonna have the money for that and so on uh, with the prince charles who was really 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 he was just he had a saliva running out of his mouth I mean, I was fucked up from the psychiatric pills, but this fucking guy was just drowning in mental illness by demonstrating me the watches that I would love to buy and I will not have the money and so on and so forth. I mean, this this is the stuff that went on during this MK Ultra. This is this is just. This is the most bizarre thing I possibly can imagine. And it was exactly what he enjoyed. It was so sadistically. Hey, guys, come on. Okay. We use the eBay. Let's see, it's an easy thing to do. Today, that's not even... Is this classic that they would what basically they deliver to the to the British males uh, as they buy and so on and I was delivered to uh, to Britain and uh, I was demonstrated what uh, their workers wear the watches basically the, the shift leaders uh, a watch on his wrist worth twenty dollars, twenty euros, and uh, with Bentley's parked uh, in front of the company, basically pointing me out at uh, a British uh, Leeds uh, or whatever company shift leaders whatever you want to for whatever they were assigned to for the day demonstrated me their uh their um luxury word of 20 dollar basically uh, how they you know how they too have this and so on that they that there's nothing wrong with it that it is good and so that's which is the stuff that i had to listen basically uh, there's nothing wrong with a $20 watch, you know, uh, it, it's, it's good, it's good, you know, the watch is good, the watch is good, and so on, you know, it's nothing wrong with it, it's nothing wrong with it, I, I never said it's anything wrong with it, why the fuck would I say that anything is wrong with it, but it's, it's, it's creepy, man, when, when you have somebody delivering you to the company, to the companies uh, so that you would meet people that demonstrate you uh, as as heads as bosses uh, as a shift supervisors basically that demonstrate you uh, their twenty dollar worth might and their wrists uh, gesturing you teaching you basically about how it's nothing wrong with it you know fuck this you know bentley for five hundred thousand uh, dollars 
parked in front of the uh, in front of the Range Rovers parked the uh, worth two three hundred thousand dollars parked in front of the company uh, and where you are being told and demonstrated how the British males are wearing the watches worth uh, you know twenty bucks basically bosses how they do that stuff and so on it's how it's nothing wrong with it. Like I ever would even say that something is wrong with it. I never said that. But the, you know, the point about this, what, what exactly is the point about this video? Of course, it's not about only about the hypocrisy stuff being used basically to suggest the Chinese government, you know, we are in line with you. We see yourself in you and so on. And the point here is something else. The point here is that is what I started to say to you earlier, basically. You know, it's in my case, it's basically this is how it all started. It's what Charles anticipated it would it would develop into a thriller by losing more time, precious time, more problems, getting myself in more problems and so on. in it what he hopes for would eventually end in the tragedy but this is a type of tragedy this is a type of shit that's actually producing anywhere from rape to the bloodshed because i know i'm not the only person being scammed into this type of stuff. I know there's a lot of British males and American males being dehumanized through this exact procedure. So they could look as normal. You see, in the world, everything looks normal. Everything is normal, quiet, peaceful. Their watch collection even looks so modest and so on. I was actually told to buy myself Casio 921 that this would be maybe this was like a doozy like at the top of the line was really Thomas Kingston and his Casio F91 which by the way uh, it was a Pope Francis that also wore one uh, and it was uh, Bin Laden, that's an, another one that he had this kind of watch. Uh, and then there was another prominent figure that also would wear Casio F91. Uh, you know, basically, they probably broke me physically, sold me, broken damaged some 30 something watches vandalized me mechanisms stolen me so they could prove at their point i don't know how much i am i'm i'm definitely not an average i'm definitely not an average but i'm definitely determined that something so personal like a watch like a freedom of buying yourself a fucking watch the right to own the watch it's not about the timepiece or whatever it is i'm age 52 i'm 52 year old male and apparently that i don't have the right to choose the fucking watch for 10 bucks to wear one as freely is this kind of shit that's being used to drive people completely insane and you might not get the pussy of your choice in your lifetime but you should be allowed to buy yourself a watch for 10 fucking dollars or 10 euros 
that would fit in your hand and will make you feel good about yourself, at least somewhat have something personal to yourself. And uh, this is just not the case. Because if that will be the case, these people would not look as normal. You see how fine they look like? Do you see just how fine they look like? How they have everything sorted out? How normal they are? That much more fucking stupid. You look in the mirror. And this here is the source. This shit here that you see. This is the source for rape. This is the source for pedophilia. This is the source for the worse. This is the source for the mass killing. They're using the most essential issues, and this is the most essential issue, universally essential, acceptable issue anywhere you go around the world, to drive you people, humanity, nuts, insane, in the bits through what I stated, should be already affordable to every one of you, or like on a universal level, they are taking it back, and they are dumping you down, basically. They're making you dumber and dumber. They dump you down, wherever it is that you're located, at, universally around the globe. They're making you dumber. And making you more and more dumb, making you dumb down basically on a universal level, so that you cannot separate from the rest of the humanity on your letter to prosperity while keeping of course the rest of the humanity down, dumbed down, and they do so. I'm not going to say so that you would be equally stupid, but so that you would be easily driven, easily manipulated. I'm not going to say just as easily manipulated, just as easily driven insane, because if anybody took leap forward, in technological advancement, in prosperity, something that's actually saving entire humanity is definitely is China and India. We are not going to survive this time if the World War III will completely develop out of this crisis in Mideast, through the Gaza, through this Houthis, they involve in it, through this Syria, through all this war they created, and we became Ukraine. If we will save ourselves, we will be thanks to China and India now. This British male, this average British male, became dumb. Dumber than dump, and is now living in a dumpster, angry, he is calling upon vengeance. The education is too fucking good for you, don't you understand? Even if you finish your university, you still must be dumbed down, you must be raped, you must be kept unemployed. Stupid you, punished for wanting to have a normal life 
for wanting to have more. You must be dehumanized so that you can have your president, Donald Trump, so that you can see yourself in a thug, like a thug, so that you go and you, you're going to march like those thugs that Putin sent to Ukraine to kill people. So you can be like a little uh, Mussolini, like a little thug, like a little Hitler. They need the material like this. These people fucking need you to look dumb, to be dumb, to be stupid. They need you to be thugs, primitives, uneducated, stupids, smugglers, hijackers, human traffickers. They need you to be like this. And they have figured out the way to get it done. Through the police, through the postal office, they fuck you, they fuck me, they fuck us. From the greater and great Britain all the way through American planes, and the Canada, and the Germany, and France, and Italy, and Spain, and Scandinavia, on exactly the same fucking principle. They are playing with a fucking sanity. They are playing with a human sanity to look more normal, to look more civilized, for you to want more, for you to have more out of your reach, because they deem that we are even too many. We're, they deem we're about two billions of too many of us. We should be thinned. We should, we should become thinnerized, evaporated a little bit every here and then. 80 million people 80 years ago. Two billion people this time. I told you, this shit is more personal than a pussy. And it gets hard to be more personal than when it comes to the pussy. But it's, it's possible. It is possible to do the stuff like this. And my case proves that these people are up to no good. That it doesn't get more primitive and more violent than the people from London that are actually enforcing their world order the way they want to organize. In a way, they want you to be your children in the school, your level of education, your sanity, your right to the certain degree of sanity, through their principles, through their conditions, through their laws, basically, through their laws using their means to block you. From seeing yourself in a mirror like a human being, basically. You want us to see like us oh, like a fucking animals. You understand? I told you this is going to be a fucking thriller. I told you it's going to be more violent video than... If I would go and start to video record about, I don't know, whatever they're doing today in Ukraine or in Syria or in Gaza or wherever, I told you it's going to be more violent. But if you, if you, I promise you that if you stick with this video, that you start to understand that we're making a leap toward the direction towards through the certain issues they are using of cell extermination toward direction of cell extermination. I'm not being wrong. I'm not being wrong. Is this issue, this, what they refer to watch is to drive people crazy, to drive just people insane. And I was, I didn't understand what they were talking about. What do they want to tell about this stuff? What, what is the meaning of all this stuff? 
This shit is being used on a mass scale, on a broad scale. This is more than about materialism. Materialism is one issue. Yes, sure, this is materialism is one issue. But what they are doing, basically, if you look the number of poor in Britain, they're manufacturing the mass scale of the hatred. They are in complete control, ability to steer in whichever direction they might. We don't have a, such a poverty levels in the U.S. Or in United Kingdom. We don't have this stuff for no fucking reason. We, this stuff exists for a certain purpose. It serves the certain political agenda. It is political agenda goes hand in hand. This fucking misery is a fucking industry. You could not go fuck them more than causing people basically to have something that is normal, uh, that gives them the opportunity to uh, basically to demanipulate them, take away from them the ability to manipulate. To drive people insane. The watch industry is a war industry, much greater level to much greater extent than you possibly can imagine. Folks, that's all I wanted to say for this video. Uh, I know you did not waste the time staying next to me watching this program. I did not find those watches. I could go and make another video about what I was told, which watches they uh, they import and uh, which watches not and so on and so forth and this and that. It, this, this is not the point, you know, it's not the point. The point is the Britons that I met and I met all these people that you see on a YouTube that you see the, the You're talking about the watch repairmen experts that 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 uh, British Americans, all kinds of people, Italians, French. You know, people that you would take your watch to. Oh, for sake of. Once your let's say Seiko mechanism would give in. And it would become time for you to go to the watchman, repairman, to have one replaced for you. And, you know, it, it was exactly the same shit that happened again uh, with my being suggested that it's it this is a different issue this i'm going to say kudos to china i'm going to say because they're capable to match price wise the quality of original japanese product for a much lesser costs you know they told me that you know they would have people british that would bring them watch uh, you know and they would they would cry when they would tell them how much it costs to replace the with the original Seiko uh, mechanism movement. 
because the old one gave in and so on. And so what they what they would do is they would go and they would order from instead from the Chinese manufacturers and would insert them a Chinese mechanism inside that would work just as good, tested just as good as the original Seiko of a much, much lesser cost, much, much lesser price, you know. And uh, people really, really satisfied. Yeah, if you like this kind of mechanism, this kind of watch, why not? So it's a different kind of issues that apply to the people. Different kind of the ways that people use watch, whatever watch means to them or whatever, you know. Um, It's true. You don't have to use. You don't have to use this kind of watch. You don't have to. You don't have to go and use. You know. You don't have to. You don't have to go. Uh, and uh, see yourself through this kind of watch or start the World War Three. This is not the point. The point about this video is to make you understand that. It's the most basic things that are being used to drive our societies crazy, insane, dissatisfied. They keep us dissatisfied and on knees and primitive rather than allowing us to concentrate on education, on jobs, prosperity, uh, work with one another. So also that people in undeveloped part of the world, which is... China already is past this, but India still, and foremost African continent and all those other countries could catch up the step and, uh, you know, it, it would make things um, increasingly difficult for people that are driving us insane uh, to continue to drive us crazy, is what I'm trying to say who are acting, portraying themselves in a public is absolutely normal and so on. Because the point about life is not the fucking watch you see right there. You should be worried about the family, about your wealth, about your house, not even about your fucking monthly payments, but your savings that are, in your case, being used to drive you insane. Not anymore in a way on how much you would deliver at the end of the month to the banking account, but how much you still have on a banking account to stay alive. We got it everything upside down. We got it everything wrong. And these are the issues that have been used to steer the whole world into a disaster. Really. This technology that, become, that became affordable and became non-affordable, literally, to driving people nuts through the postal services is the reason why your banking accounts are even dry, why your financials are in shit. Because you can always settle for the stuff like this. You can always substitute with something cheaper because there's so much good stuff that is available. But I'm afraid that's not going to gain you back your losses. And the watch that you have right there in the hand, it can also be broken to you, you know. For the other one, it's not going to come through the postal services. So I guess that when you can do the people like this, like on a mass scale, and then you really, really deserve something like this on your head. And even the stuff that he wears on the head is stolen, probably from India or China or altogether.